Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it's time for Saturday Soup. Our collective reads. You guys, please, claim the energy in a positive way or we'll leave this reading here today. Now, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Saturday Soup, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangel, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, Please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Saturday Soup. Guys, energy is fluid. I can be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. It also can be past, present, or future. Yeah? Yeah, here we go. Saturday Soup. Clearly and concisely for everyone's highest good ancestors. Thank you. Okay. The first card up is the Ten of Cups. I love it. Happiness, contentment, joy. Some kind of emotional fulfillment, a family around you, total love and support, domestic harmony. Keep going. Keep going. Great way to start a reading. Okay. Somebody's got some kind of a goal and a focus, and um, they're going to overcome any obstacles to get to their success. They also want control over their success. This person has willpower and ambition, okay? Somebody might be traveling. Somebody could be traveling home to their family. Somebody might be getting, uh, you know, a new vehicle or something like this. The seventh could be of significance. This could be happening in July. Somebody could be 57 years old here. We have cancer energy now. Maybe somebody's goal and focus in life is to have a happy family. Maybe this, right? It could be that too. At the foundation of this situation, what was going on? Okay. Guys, at the foundation of the situation, somebody was stuck in limbo here, in hangman. Somebody was, you know, trying to figure things out from all different perspectives. Somebody might have thought they were trapped or confined in a situation. Maybe their hands were tied. Their back was up against the wall. They were trying to gain some enlightenment, trying to figure out all different ways, you know, to do things or different perspectives. Maybe uncertain of a direction, needing to release and let go of something. The twelfth could be of significance or the third. Show me what's crowning. What's crowning? Okay, crowning you. You're Oh, good. You got the three swords in reverse. Yes. Okay. Somebody could have been suffering with some kind of emotional pain for any reason at all. It doesn't matter, okay? Because it would have had to be up, upright first. Maybe this is the reason why somebody was taking a time out to try to figure out things from different perspectives to get over some kind of emotional pain, okay? Whatever it is crowning you, whatever emotional pain you had or somebody that's in your energetic environment here, it's healing. It's happiness. It's now getting over whatever causes this grief, heartbreak, sorrow, and separation and trauma. And it could also be a reconciliation. The third could be of significance. Yeah, let's see. Show me. Show me what's coming in the near future that our Aquarius does not see. Ooh, a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus for somebody very reliable, resourceful, and fertile. This person is very down to earth. This person is self-sufficient. They have their own. They're, like I said, hardworking, committed, dedicated. Could be a mother. Could be the matriarch of a family. Or they will be. A business owner. Somebody very respectable. People, you know, respect this person. This person is very good with finances. Show me how you're perceiving this in your mind's eye. In your mind's eye, you're looking at this like, ooh, my don't me. You've got the five of wands in reverse. Meaning that this is coming out of a time of conflict. Okay, let me just tell you something. These are two cards of reconciliation. So this could be somebody that you're reconciling with from the past. That you had some kind of bullshit going on with, okay? Whatever kind of fighting conflict that there was, it broke somebody's heart. There was a lot of trauma and tears. But now in this time, you are healing from that and you're getting over whatever drama there was. It's water under the bridge, all right? It's compromising. It's tension relief. It's cooperation. It's let's not fight anymore. Perhaps even a reconciliation. This could be with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Leo, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Or somebody that has this in their chart. What's in the actual environment here? Oh, the Empress. Taurus energy now. Hi, Taurus. Now, somebody here knows their worth and their value. Somebody here is very creative and fertile, like I said. Somebody's the best attributes of all four queens and then some. Somebody here is very nurturing and harmonious. It's a beautiful artistic energy. You could fertilize a business, a plant, a person. Somebody might be pregnant here. Somebody's eating avocados. Somebody likes to play pool. Woo! Okay, hold on a second. Something about black and white stripes. So in your environment, I'm feeling like this is you and you know who you are and you're not settling for anything less than you deserve. You know, you're healed, you're happy, you figured your way out uh, or around anything or through life, I'm hearing. And this is a very beautiful place. You're sitting here, you know, very pretty and stable. So you really don't need anything, right? But I have a feeling that the thing you want here is love and a family. This is your goal and your focus. 
Now, what is the uh, best advice for the... Okay, thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. Is the King of Cups. Well, here it comes. Damn it to hell. Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. Here it comes, okay? Also, the sun is the only card flipped over here. It's going to make you so freaking happy. You're not even going to do it yourself. The King of Cups. Cancer Pisces with Scorpio energy for somebody emotionally mature and available. It's a divine masculine, okay? Because I'm working with a feminine here. I'm talking to a feminine. It's the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Now we got the divine man. So you wanted the love. Here it comes. The, oh, the King of Cups is daddy. I tell you this all the time. An emotionally balanced, wise, diplomatic, devoted person. Somebody who's kind, caring, loving. They love dogs. They smell good. They got the the best pheromones you want to jump in this one's arms and never get out never all right i'm telling you so here comes love now if this is what you came here for today you got it but what is the most likely outcome to this please and thank you please and thank you you have water taurus leo any earth sign um yeah high taurus stuff uh you have um cancer the most likely outcome for this there it is the offer is coming the page of pentacles now i will tell you that again Earth energy. This could be something that you manifested with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles could be an offer of a job or some kind of new financial, you know, situation. The Page of Pentacles could also have something to do with tarot reading. The Page of Pentacles is an offer coming in. Somebody's coming to offer you a pentacle. So it's not going to be like a, like a king is coming in or anything like that. They're coming in very calm and quiet, uh, very demure. Um, but whatever they're offering, whether it's a job or love, whatever this is, it's solid, and you can build upon it, okay? It's a solid foundation. Oh, what did I say about building upon it? And then if you put the work and effort in, oh, shit, look how happy you're going to be. I told you. It just requires a little effort. What you don't know and you don't see is here comes the freaking fucking offer. And it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's do this. Eight. Eight of Pentacles. This is about putting effort in. So some of you might be with your head down working hard and, you know, securing your bag. You could be doing this, concentrating on some kind of skill you have or your, you know, your career, your talent, whatever it is, becoming a master. But also, in a relationship, this is about putting the work and effort in. When you do this, look how happy you're going to be. See, when you water the grass that's, that you're standing on, the grass can look greener on the other side. You want to know where the grass is the greenest? Where the freak you fucking water it. So if you water the grass you're standing on by putting the work and effort in, look how happy you're going to be. You're going to have the best lawn on the block. Got me? Okay. Leo Energy. This is going to be happening over the summer. Yeah. What I tell you, Leo Energy, by the time Leo, by the time August comes, you're going to know what I'm talking about here. Be strong, resilient. Don't have any self-doubt. Don't. Okay? This is what you need to do with the strength. Because even if you think, even if you, even if you don't know what's going on, even if you're worried with fear and anxiety, because the moon doesn't always have to be shit going on under the surface. The moon could be that you're worried with fear and anxiety that something's going to go wrong, whether it's at work or in a relationship, and, and they're going to take you away, you know, it's, your happiness is going to go away. Just be strong, resilient. Do not have any self-doubt. Overcome any fear here, because here comes the offer. Whether it's a job offer or an offer, it's a solid. I told you... Now you depend on this. Is, oh, here we go. There you go. Bob the Builder. Whether this is you building something here, hardworking, your own legacy, and your own financial foundation, or somebody that's coming in with this page of pentacles, uh, whether it's a job that you're working on at a relationship, that's Bob the Builder. You can build with the, if this is the person, you can build with this person. They're going to put the effort in. The effort. Then you're going to get a ten of pentacles. So temper your emotions because here it comes. All right? And that's the end of that. I'm going to stop because these dogs don't want to shut up. It's a happy ending, like always. And you didn't even have to pay extra for it, all right? I'm telling you. So this is all good. You always want a Ten of Pentacles. I tell you all the time. The Ten of Pentacles is the Disney fairy tale ending, right? It certainly is. Because not only do you have, you know, wealth and stability and enough money where you can keep everybody close, but you have, the, you know, the tradition, the family, the Sunday dinners, whatever it is. The arguing, the mess, the, the whole thing. Grandma, grandpa, you know. The grandbabies, animals, whatever, whatever. And food for everybody. I mean, that's a beautiful life, right? So here's the tea. The first tea is no facts. Never has the facts, makes shit up. Yeah, I know a few people like this and lies. Just lies. They'll say anything. And some, some people will say anything to anybody. You gotta see some of the you gotta see some of the comments. Speaking of which, I love you all very much. Uh, you know, I just did the spiritual retreat. It really helped me. I'm calm. I cannot. I have to protect my energy. So I'm not really going to be answering anybody's comments anymore. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't read them and I don't love you all. But if I, you know, I'm very old school, all right? So if I can't answer you all, which is the polite, right thing to do, I probably shouldn't answer any of you. And it's a shame because some of you I really have felt I've come to become my friends over the time that we've been together. Like I can name it, but I wouldn't do that to 
But yeah, so if you, you know, you hit me up, send me an email and I'll talk to you and tell you what. But as far as on the channel, I'm not going to close the comments, but I don't think that I'm going to be answering you. And I love you and I'm sorry. And this is my acknowledgement to you. And this is thank you very much, all of you, for the comments. Please hit the like and subscribe too. I would really appreciate that. We really would. It gets the message out. Running. This card comes out every freaking time. So, either somebody already is into exercise or runs. Somebody needs to go out jogging, man. I, somebody needs to get out and get some fresh air, maybe go by the water. And when this person's, like, when you're doing that physical exertion, not only are you going to feel amazing, but it's going to help clear your mind, and you're going to get things in perspective. Yeah, somebody, somebody really needs to be, like, out by themselves for a while, maybe walking, jogging, breathing fresh air, and just feeling alive, like, you and the earth. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by it. Yeah, this is me not, not answering. I, I, You know, yeah, I feel like that. Because you know what? I, also, too, I have to protect myself from myself. I have a bad temper. I'm very confrontational. I'm a triple-ass fire sign from Brooklyn, right? So a lot of times I want to, and I, you know, it's not good. Because this is not what we're doing here. We're spreading the love, right? So, yeah. So I'm protecting you from me. I'm protecting me from you. I'm protecting me from myself. And... Everybody's got to be protected from any kind of negativity, crazy people, or haters. So if you're on this channel, yeah, my ancestors, which let me tell you, are gangsters. Literal gangsters are protecting you. You're protected over here. I'll protect you. I don't give a shit. I am not fearful of anything. Here, yeah, haunted. Except for maybe water bugs. I got to tell the truth. Like, I don't like insects so much. But I've been overcoming that, right? They should fear is haunted. Memories, flashbacks, traumas, and side effects. So somebody might have been haunted by something. And whatever you do, for the love of God, move in silence. Always in forever. It's just a smart thing to do. Because, yeah, you never know about these haters or people trying to get up information. And just people are fucking batshit crazy, man. I'm so sorry about it. Okay. Not all of you, but woo, my own. Anyway. The positive affirmations. What do I tell you? Please say positivity. Say happy things. Say Say things, you know, that are going to bring your energy, frequency, and vibration up, okay? Also, try to say things you're grateful for. So, one thing, you know, it's like the Herbal Essence commercial. You tell a friend, and they tell a friend, and they tell a friend, and they tell a friend. If you're grateful for one thing, that multiplies to this thing, and that thing, and this thing. Before you know it, you've got so many things you're grateful for. You don't even know what to do with yourself. So, today I'm calm. My mind is open. I'm at peace with who I am. Depends on how you look at shit, right? It really depends on how you perceive things. Try not to perceive things from a negative point of view. Even if something happens to you, it, it's happening for you. Trust me when I tell you. Today I have faith. Today I have faith and truly believe that anything is possible. And it is. You could do anything. All right? I promise you. I, we're behind you 100%. I tell you again. If you could conceive it and if you really believe it, you could achieve it. Don't let anybody stop. Nothing can stop you now. All right? You got this. You got this. You are the deliberate creator here. You are the manifester. Now, today will you will express yourself. Yeah. <sighs> today I will express my feelings openly and honestly by writing them down and reading them out loud. All right. So I express myself verbally because I don't have a problem doing that. But today nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals. Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. And it shouldn't. Be persistent and powerful. Today my potential to succeed and conquer challenges is limitless. It's like this every day. Okay. You just have to... Wrap your minds around things in a different perspective. Maybe by going out and spending some time by yourself and jogging and feeling the sun on your face and smelling the salt water and breathing and understanding what part you are on this planet and in this universe. It's really going to help, I'm telling you. So, somebody might be getting their GED here. Congratulations. Um, okay, hold on here. Somebody might need to go to AA. Somebody might be named Dee Dee. Um, or Jean. I'm getting Jean. Somebody eats... Bones. Be careful, somebody's getting burnt on a stove. Here we go. G-N-D-D-S-C, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia or Scotland. T-Z, here in Tasmania. Two A's, E-I-O. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.